Hello again. This is Math 0482, and this is a lecture created on 9-2, and this is the first lecture created on uh, the date 9-2. And the title of this lecture is The Least Common Denominator, parentheses, LCD, often abbreviated that way. And this is also known in some books as the least common multiple. So we're going to begin to find the least common denominator for a group of rational expressions. But we're going to start by recalling what we did with fractions. Recall that to add or subtract fractions, they must have a common denominator. Similarly, rational expressions must have common denominators in order to be added or subtracted. So we're going to discuss how to find the least common denominator, LCD, of rational expressions. So we begin by looking at the fractions as an example, 3 over 8 and 5 over 12. Now by inspection or previous experience, you will realize that the least common denominator here is 24. But why is that true? Well, let's write each of the denominators, 8 and 12, as a product of their prime factors. And so we have that 8 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2, which is 2 cubed. And 12 is 2 times 2 times 3, or 2 squared times 3. Now, the LCD will contain each factor the greatest number of times it appears in, in a single factorization. So the LCD will contain 2 cubed because 2 appears 3 times in the factorization of 8. The LCD will contain 3 because 3 appears one time in the factorization of 12. The LCD then is the product of the factors we have identified. So the LCD of 3 over 8 and 5 over 12 is 2 cubed times 3, which is 8 times 3 or 24. This is the same result that we, pre, uh, we obtained previously by inspecting the two denominators. Now this is the same procedure we're going to use to find the least common denominator of rational expressions. We're going to factor the denominators completely. The LCD will contain each unique factor, the greatest number of times it appears in any single factorization. And the LCD is the product of the factors that are identified in step two or the previous step. So let's begin by considering example, we're going to find the LCD of each pair of rational expressions. In this first example, we're going to look at eight over 49 C cubed, comma, and the second expression is 13 over 14 C squared. Let's follow the steps we outlined. Step one, factoring the denominators of eight over 49c cubed and 13 over 14c squared gives us 49c cubed is equal to 7 times 7 times c cubed. That's 7 squared times c cubed. 14c squared is equal to 2 times 7 times c squared. The LCD will contain each unique factor the greatest number of times it appears in any factorization. So the LCD will contain 2, 7 squared, and c cubed. So the LCD is the product of the factors in step 2. So the LCD is equal to 2 times 7 squared times 3 cubed, which is equal to 98 c cubed. Here is a U try for you. I'm asking you to find the LCD of each pair of rational expressions. The first expression is 20 over 27h squared. The second expression is 1 over 6h to the fourth. Please pause the video and try this yourself. Once you finished it, resume the video and see how you did. Let's see how you did. You should have gotten 54h to the fourth as your answer. How did you do? Let's move on and look at a more complicated example. We want to here find the least common denominator of each group of rational expressions. 
and the group that we have here is 3p over p squared plus 4p plus 4, and comma, and the second uh, rational expression is 1 over 5p squared plus 10p. So in step 1, we factor the denominators of 3p over p squared plus 4p plus 4 and 1 over 5p squared plus 10p. So p squared plus 4p plus 4 equal p plus 2 whole squared. And 5p squared plus 10p is equal to 5p times the parentheses p plus 2 into parentheses. The unique factors then are 5 comma p comma and p plus 2 comma with p plus 2 appearing at most twice. So the factors that we'll use in the LCD are 5 comma p and parentheses p plus 2 close parentheses squared. So the least, least common denominator then is 5p times parentheses p plus 2 close parentheses whole squared. Let's do the second example. Here, we're going to find the LCD of, again, each pair of rational expressions. The first one is going to be 2 over 3x squared minus 6x, comma, and the second expression is 9x over x squared minus 7x plus 10. Well, we're going to factor the denominators. So 3x squared minus 6x factors into 3x times x minus 2. And x squared minus 7x plus 10 factors into x minus 2 times x minus 5. Notice that the x minus 2 appears both places, but only to the first power. So then the least common denominator then is 3x parentheses x minus 2 close parentheses new parentheses x minus 5 close parentheses. Again, the LCD is 3x times the quantity x minus 2 times the quantity x minus 5. Here's one for you to try. Identify the least common denominator of each pair of rational expressions. The first one is v minus 9 over v squared plus 15v plus 44, comma. The second rational expression is 8 over 5v squared plus 55v. Please pause the video, work the problem, and resume the video to see how you did. Let's see how you did. The answer that you should have gotten for this problem was the least common denominator is 5v times the quantity v plus 4 times the quantity v plus 11. Let's do one more example and then you'll do one more you try. This one is a little tricky perhaps. Please follow along. We want to find the least common denominator of 9 over x minus 7 and 5 over 7 minus x. Now recall from previous studies that a minus b is the same thing as minus 1 times b minus a. So in this case 7 minus x is equal to minus parentheses x minus 7 into parentheses. So you see that the least common denominator here is going to be x minus 7. Here's a problem for you to try. Find the least common denominator of 2 over x minus 5 and 13 over 5 minus, uh, I should have said k. Find the least common denominator of 2 over k minus 5 and 13 over 5 minus k. Please pause the video and try this. Once you finish it, uh, return to the video and see how you did. Let's see how you did. The answer you should have gotten for this one is k minus 5. In closing on this video, remember that time is precious. Each day must count. 
do the math, it will make you strong. In the next video, we will build upon this to do uh, the solving of rational equations.